Hello, today I'm going to be doing my first review on the Bandai Tex Gordon. Now, I have had this model for a very long time and I cherish it deeply, but today I'm going to be very critical to provide a good review. Now, this model isn't perfect. On the surface, all the proportions look just right, but as you look closer, some are out of scale, basically. That has very nice detailing, very crisp prints, and very nice paint. One thing I don't necessarily enjoy is how long it is, as it doesn't really work that well on Ben's and the turntable that was seen earlier. It does have a custom face mold, which is very nice, and overall adds a lot to the model. Now, the tender has that red piece of plastic, which I don't really like, but overall its proportions and prints are very nice. Now, these models connect to each other by turning on a magnet, which connects to other pieces of rolling stock and engines, and then undoing a switch, which will break the magnetic connection. This model also has moving side rods, which are very nice and satisfying to watch, like every other Bandai model. Now, the box is first edition, it has Happy Prince of Gordon on it in cartoon form, and then it shows a picture of the grumpy Gordon we have. It's first edition by the gold-plated 8 and the gold-plated name, and it has a character profile area. Historical note, Gordon's design is based loosely around a Grizzly liner A3462, of which the Flying Scotsman is the only surviving example. Then a character sketch. Gordon is the senior member of the engine family, the fastest and most powerful of the Fat Controller's string, and he knows it. He's extremely proud, often pompous, and inclined to boast. He's good-hearted, though, and always willing to forgive and use his superior strength to help smaller engines out of trouble. Very nice character sketch. It also has very nice illustrations of Gordon, but I believe I showed those earlier. Then there's a little tab saying what to do with connecting. Then on top, there's just another piece of promotional art, and underneath is Japanese. Now, one thing I don't like is how this model is so out of proportion. Next to James, it looks great. But next to an engine like Percy, ugh, he starts to look very, very small. In fact, even so, troublesome trucks tower over him, it seems. He's a bit small, and when engines are next to each other, it doesn't look the best but overall, on its own, he looks pretty good. One thing I like is how his cab and his whistle are very crisp and noticeable details, and that overall sold the model on me getting it first. Now, the boiler and the funnel area is in proportions, and head forward, it can look very nice, very bad, depending on what you like. I think it looks okay. It also has very crisp, nice, smooth paint, which I like very much. Overall, it's a pretty great model, and if you see it, I would definitely recommend picking it up because Bandai did an excellent job with it, like they do with all their Thomas toys, and it's becoming somewhat rare nowadays. It isn't the best model on the range, but it's certainly not the worst. I'm Alex, thank you for watching this review, it was quite fun to make. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, I really enjoy seeing that, it just warms my day. And speaking of a day, have a very great one.